So I tell you what the problem we try to address is, and it's common to all quantum gravity formalists if they're serious about it, uh, which is that space and time uh, disappear in quantum gravity. We end up with uh, uh, degrees of freedom that are not directly spatial-temporal, and that means that we have to reconstruct uh, space and time from uh, non-spatial-temporal, more fundamental structures. So the question is, how do space and time emerge out of these uh, quantum gravity uh, uh, structures? And a more uh, um, specific problem within this larger issue is how cosmology can be extracted from fundamental quantum gravity. And the idea we are uh, using, we are following to tackle this problem is that the way you should tackle is uh, to do the same as you do when you try to extract uh, the macroscopic dynamics of fluids from uh, the underlying microscopic atomic theory. So we know that this is to do with cost graining up to global observables. And uh, we know that from the quantum dynamics of atoms uh, and their microscopic observables, like the individual momenta, the number of particles, and so on, you are able to extract, you should be able to extract uh, the hydrodynamics, that is the dynamics for the macroscopic variables, density and velocity of the fluid, and the macroscopic observables, like the total momentum of the old uh, particles here. So the idea is that the same has to happen for cosmology. So that, in other words, cosmology being uh, the result of cost graining up to global variables is uh, to be understood uh, as the hydrodynamics of any underlying quantum gravity theory. So that from the quantum dynamics for uh, so-called atoms of space, which are non-spatial temporal, you should be able to get to a effective dynamics of cosmological observables in terms of uh, something like a density function and in terms of which then you compute uh, the expectation values and dynamics of macroscopic quantities, like for example the total volume or the scale factor of the universe. And this effective dynamics is going to be generically nonlinear. So you're going to, you should expect a nonlinear effective dynamics for such uh, uh, cosmological wave function. And here is the difference with uh, usual quantum cosmology. So this will be all an only nice talk, if not for the fact that we can actually do it, at least in some special cases, and under, of course, a, a number of approximations. So in order to even start, uh, you need the microscopic theory for your atoms of space. And the formalism we use is so-called group field theory. It's a standard, more or less standard, field theoretic formulation of the dynamics of fundamental quantum gravity degrees of freedom, which are exactly the ones of loop quantum gravity. So you can see this uh, formalism as a second quantized reformulation of loop quantum gravity. And the task is first to identify for the first thing we, uh, we did was to um, identify suitable microscopic states uh, which admit an interpretation in, uh, in terms of continuum universes. And simple condensate states of the underlying field theory can be understood as uh, continuum homogeneous universes, really the simplest possible continuum geometry, but the ones that cosmology is based on. And then we extract the effective cosmology, starting from the fundamental theory. And uh, being condensates of the underlying field theory, you can follow the same steps as in ordinary Bose condensates. We find generalized Friedman equations. And within the limits of the hydrodynamic approximation, we find a generic, generically a big bounce. So we extract cosmology from full quantum gravity, at least in this case. Thank you.